Hi, I'm Michael. I'm here to show you a thing that I call the Haas. It's a piece of equipment I came up with because I loved SRT, but I didn't like the ascent part of it. I didn't like the frog walker system where you have an upper hand ascender and a bungee going onto my foot. And I didn't like the rope walker setups that were in place where you had the bungee wrapped around you. They ran out of pull, and I just didn't find them to be all that effective. So what I did is I thought, I wonder if we can put the bungee in the lower tether, which is exactly what we ended up doing. The nice thing about this is it gives you 100% range of motion and it captures 100% gain that you have with your left foot, which no other system on the market does. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this works real quick and how to set it up. What I have is a rope wrench with a hitch climber and I've got the tail of my lanyard crossed over my back and I'm just using that to hold the hitch climber in place. I climb with a really long lanyard so it makes sense to use it instead of having another piece of equipment. So. To use this, all you need to do is take your foot, that your non-traditional foot, and stick it right in the stirrup. I have a traditional foot ascender on the other side. And what I'm going to do with the boat snap is I'm actually going to pull this up, and I'm going to put it right on the center becket of the hitch climber. And that's it. That's all there is to set up. And I am ready to climb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to engage my traditional foot ascender. And then I'm going to engage the Haas. And I'm ready to climb. So you'll see, I'm going to try not to spin on you here, but as I pick up my traditional foot, it's going to come all the way up to where the Haas is, which is just about where I run out of leg anyway. And then when I go up with the other side, that's going to go all the way up, and it's actually going to clip the bottom of the hitch climber. And again, with the traditional foot, it's going to go all the way up, clip the bottom of the Haas, and then the Haas is going to go all the way up and clip the bottom of the hitch climber. It's a very, very fast system. I'm going slow here so you can see how it works. But the nice thing is, is when you get to where you're going, it's just as easy to get out of as it is to put into place. So what you're going to do is just disengage both of your ascenders, and then I go ahead and take the, take the Haas completely off and stow it. Some guys will climb with it. I don't like the bulkiness of it, but you can do it. So I'll take that and stow it, and uh, that's it. I'm ready to go. Then I can either go to work or come back down. So I'm going to show you again how easy that is to set up, in case you missed something. So you take the hoss. Put your foot through the loop, like so. Take the boat snap, take that up, and again, I put it on the center bucket of the hitch climber. You can attach this to anywhere as long as it's high enough to give range to the Haas. Now the nice thing about the Haas is, is its range is actually from the very top of the mechanism to about three and a half feet. So. If you're taller than I am, you could technically stretch this thing out to about here and still get full range. And then I'm tied in ready to go. Go ahead, engage your traditional foot ascender. Step up, engage your hoss, and then ascend. And you, again, you can see that this is capturing 100% of the efficiency that I'm producing. And when you get to where you're going, it's just as easy to get back out of it. Disengage. Disengage. Take the boat snap off and stow it. I'm actually going to put the boat snap back on, and I'm going to show you that you can, you can work a tree with it in place. So I'm going to leave that in place, and I'm going to come down with it in place. So you can see that the Haas is still in place, I can stretch out as far as I could possibly want, and it doesn't inhibit any sort of movement at all.
problem with doing this is you'll probably get caught in branches and stuff, which is why I don't do it. But if it's a really big tree and you're only going up for something little, leave the thing on. So, and that's all I got for you.